Festival! I was hoping for a little bit more than just Festival. I'm still excited for this update though. Nintendo released a very short trailer today for the late January update, so let's break down every scene because we've got nothing better to do. This update starts in two days, which means that on the 28th, our switches will update and all you time travelers should be able to travel to Festival and experience it early if you want. Pave will appear on February 15th, one day before IRL Mardi Gras. The first real scene we see is Pave dancing away in the plaza, with villagers prancing around in their adorable outfits. Each has a fancy sparkly dress and adorable head feathers. Confetti is falling from the sky, which I am beyond excited for. There are two new feather furniture items that we can see the tops of at the front of the bridge. Resident Services got its usual holiday glow up with the banner wrapping around the top and some party garland strung from the building to the lampposts. Pave is in his usual attire, dancing away like there's no tomorrow. Can we just appreciate that even the helmet villagers like Kid Cat still wear their feathers? In this scene, we do see villagers dancing in a way that we've never seen danced before. Chrissy even throws confetti. Yes, Nintendo, I'm so excited to throw confetti. The next new item we see is a lamp, I think. It's very bright, <laughs> with reds, oranges, and yellow swirling about. I'm hoping these can be customized to various color schemes. We get a better look at the bottom of these feather vases surrounded in bamboo. There's a feather drum in the top right next to this house. It has a green and yellow pattern which could confirm that there are indeed different color schemes that the Pave furniture can be customized to. We finally hear Pave speak. In New Leaf, he had the voice of a peppy villager. The developers seem to have given him his own voice this time, and I kinda like it. You can hear his accent, which is strange to say since they're speaking Annalise, but I don't know, I, I can hear it. <laughs> Pave sends us on a mission to find feathers, just like in New Leaf. If it continues with the same formula, he'll most likely tell us to find specifically colored feathers amongst the confetti. As the player walks, we see more new festival items. It looks as if the old furniture is gone and the glow up is here. Although, Nintendo seems to have taken a whole new approach this time. There's a feather balloon on the left. On the right, there's a stand-up banner. Both are the same color scheme as the lamp from the previous scene. The trailer then shows us what feathers look like floating around. Definitely easy to see, as they are a lot bigger than the confetti, unlike a new leaf where they kind of blended in. Like the snowflakes, leaves, and cherry blossoms, we will use our net to catch them. Delivering the feather, or feathers probably, to Pave makes him dance. Ah, he's so beautiful. Just look at him. At the end of his dance, he throws purple feathers out, which is the same color feather that the player handed to him. So, I guess the only reason for us collecting feathers is um, so he can have a finale to his dance. And here I thought we were doing something important with them. He will then, most likely, hand us some Pave furniture and send us back out to find more feathers. Nintendo shows us some of the spoils of what our hard work will get us. We can see the banner from before in the back. Across the screen, the same banner is placed, but this time with the green color scheme. There are more lamps in the foreground and back, also green. Now that I see them lit up, not too sure if they're lamps, but they have lights, so, uh, sure. There's another balloon string in the back that looks to be yellow and green this time. We get a better view of these feather vases at night, and they actually light up beautiful. There are these V-shaped party garlands which have those same circular lights on them as the other furniture. They appear in the same red and green colors that we've seen on items already. This makes me think that these are the only two colors we can customize them to. I'm assuming they're supposed to represent spring and fall for the both northern and southern hemispheres, like how the turkey day furniture could be customized to match your hemisphere's current season. We get a better look at the drums, and they are indeed drums. I'm hoping they're interactable and they actually make noise. There's a pile of feathers on the ground that looks like it can be run through, as well as a rug. Did they actually give us rugs to put outside? Probably not, Cora. Calm yourself. It's most likely part of the feather item. And my favorite thing so far, the confetti machine. Oh yes, I am excited for this. In the next scene, we get a better look at these balloons all lit up. The lamp, which I'm now thinking is an umbrella, actually leans to the side. On the far left, there's a new type of stand that we can place furniture on. And the players are doing the pave dance and throwing confetti. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Nintendo. I am so excited for these new reactions. There looks to be a good variety of them too. Each of the four villagers seems to be dancing differently. And the middle one with the pave finale, oh yes. The players have these cool boots that I believe are a new addition. The girl's shoes look like the strappy heels that we can already purchase. And that's it! The next free update is scheduled for March, which we know will consist of at least the Mario furniture. Very short trailer with a few more surprises than meets the eye, and by a few more, I'm basically referring to like only the reactions. However, they never show us everything in the trailer. Nintendo likes to instead put stuff on their website. Heading over to the official Japanese site, we see more pictures. 
The website confirms that the rare rainbow feathers will be returning to Festival. We'll have to wait and see if they work the same way they did in New Leaf. New furniture will appear in the seasonal spot at Nooks. Some of these are probably pieces that were shown off in the trailer already. The four new reactions will be available starting February 1st. Beans! These appeared previously in New Leaf, but basically we can throw beans at our friends! You'll be able to order these from Nook Shopping on February 3rd. There are also Oni costumes that we can buy from Abel starting in February to celebrate Setsubun. There will be Valentine's Day seasonal items, the heart chocolate and heart rose bouquet that will have different colors and designs every day if the website was translated correctly. The other two options are a football rug and megaphone to celebrate the American football tradition, the Super Bowl. It looks like these can either be customized or ordered in different colors as well. There seems to be some cool shouting reaction linked to the megaphone. I'm down. In celebration of Groundhog Day, we're getting a Rossetti model. Korean New Year brings us a money bag, and Chinese New Year gets us these two new awesome items. We'll also get some maracas in the mail as a thank you for installing the update. This update isn't horrible. It gives us pabe, which we expected, as well as some cool new reactions and holiday furniture. What I don't get is why they made this available at the end of January, and yet the only new thing about the update is the holiday that's about half a month away. Maybe just for the additional furniture items shown off on the website? I assumed it was a late January release because they were going to do more. I'm convinced the developers had the holidays completed ahead of New Horizons release, or shortly thereafter, and they were just waiting to add them in as we went through the year. Maybe the whole pandemic thing kind of messed with their plans of adding new features? The first year of updates were so amazing. We got so many surprises that none of us were expecting. I'm going to view this as the end of the first year of updates instead of using it as a guide for how the rest of the year is going to go. We'll get Brewster at some point. We gotta. What are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!